hecho nada. A ver. Backpackers Campground Day Zero. Day one, mile zero, zero. John Muir Trail, baby. Here's my goat posse. There you go, Little Yosemite Valley, one mile, our first campground. Half Dome will be 4.5 miles. Tuolumne, 17. Should be there in about two more days. And then Whitney, 215 miles. Hopefully we'll be there in 20 more days. Day two, we're gonna go head up to Half Dome, two miles up, we're at the junction right now. And here we go. Start of day two, ready to go up Half Dome. Heart's racing. I did it last year, I'm not sure if I could do it again. <laughs> See what happens. my cheer squad you can do it good morning day two ten o'clock we're about six miles in about to attempt half dome scenery at sub dome is just gorgeous as you can see see for miles and miles and miles at the top of half dome here we are look at that She's so gorgeous. The top of Half Dome by the ledge that everybody takes pictures at. John Muir Trail. I'm gonna go down two miles and then we got six miles to our next campsite. Coming down Half Dome. It's the beginning of the cables from the top. 
but I'm about to put my phone away because I'm going to hang on for dear life. So, see you at the bottom. I just came down from there. Those are the half dome cables. That shit is fucking scary as fuck. I did it last year and that was a stupid idea. I think I have higher amnesia because I did it again and I don't think I want to do it again. But we'll see next year. That shit was scary, 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 scary fuck. But anyway, I'm at the bottom of the cables. I survived that part, half dome, so. There we go. We're in Yosemite. After this, we got seven miles to our next campsite. And then we'll have dinner. Yes. Peace out, my ninjas. Day two. Coming past Cloud Rest Junction. We're at mile 7.75. Wow, there. It's a long, hot stretch coming out of Yosemite. Not much shade, all exposed. It is hot. Just uphill. Nine, ten. We got about four more miles. We plan on camping out at just past mile twelve. But only if there's water. If there's no water, we're gonna go all the way down to Sunrise Lakes, which is about mile 13.2-ish, I think. So, all right, gotta keep on walking. Day two, Tuesday, 8 4 2020. Peace out. Good morning. Start of day three. Today is Wednesday. And we are just coming into Sunrise Lakes. <clears throat> we had an early, early rise this morning. Had breakfast, hung out of the camp. We got just under 11 miles to get to Tuolumne. We should be there probably about one, between one and three o'clock, depending how many breaks we take. And yesterday was pretty tough. We had just under 6,000 foot climb elevation game gain out of Little Yosemite Valley Campground. From the little Yosemite campground, we went to Half Dome. Half Dome, we came down. We refilled some water at Cloud Rest Junction. And then we hoofed it forward. Water is really, really scarce on the trail this year compared to last year. So, 
recommend it to refill after maybe mile 10 just to refill at every source you can come up on and now we are heading Sobo southbound but it's a beautiful day are there hiking companions the other ones are coming beautiful. running a little behind but it's a beautiful day today I gotta get some miles in Peace out, have a good day. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Day three, we are on mile 16.5. That is Cathedral Peak. Hot out here, water is scarce, but we have enough. Trail is beautiful, scenery is beautiful. Here comes the rest of our crew in the back. Hold on. Sorry. Oh. Oh. Wait. Stop. Turn around. Crossing Tuolumne, Tuolumne Bridge. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We got two people coming back there. We'll get them on the next video. Mile 22.5. We are about one mile from Tuolumne. Taking the official trail. No shortcuts. <clears throat> It is about one o'clock right now, maybe. And we are gonna get in the water, set up our camp, and then have dinner and go to sleep. Hey, what are we doing over here? At the last place. Very swollen on my face. Start of day number four, having breakfast. We're leaving in an hour. 50 minutes. You say it's 8 o'clock, no? Good morning. Today is Thursday, August the 6th, 2020. Day number four. I'm at about mile number 26. We are going to go today to Lyle Fork Bridge, I believe it is. And that's about nine miles from here. And then tomorrow morning we'll be going over Donahue Pass and our plan is to stay at Thousand Island Lake but it's a beautiful day sun is out legs are tired finally got a good night of sleep last night need to adjust to my sleeping pad but
I'm feeling good. See you in a bit. Lyle Canyon Meadow. Good afternoon, day four, we're at about mile nine right now of the day and it is warm, warm, warm. We're going to camp tonight at Lyle Fork Bridge, I believe, by mile 10.1, something like that from here. So we're almost there. It's about close to two o'clock. This is our first good climb of the day. And then tomorrow morning, we'll be going over Donahue Pass. And going to Thousand Island Lake. So next stop, our tent site have some snacks, wait a while, have some dinner, go to sleep, and wake up. Peace out. Lyle Fork Bridge, mile 33 and a half fish. We're about two miles from Donahue Pass, which we'll be doing in the morning. Today's Thursday, day four. I don't know what day it is. Date. Day number five, starting. Five. Day five, going to Donahue Pass, 7.30 a.m. Let the games begin.
Ah. Ah, shit. My foot got wet. Good morning. Today is Friday, August 7th, day number five. We just got to the top of Donahue Pass. It's 9.35 right now. A little windy up here. The scenery is so, so freaking amazing. So, I believe we are officially entering the Sierras. Donahue Pass, the sign says Anso Adam Wilderness, Inyo National Forest. Good afternoon. I am at the top of Island Pass. I don't know what time. Let me check real quick. It's about it's about 2.30 right now. We had a good, good, good climb coming up. We are headed to Thousand Island Lake. Probably about two miles away. You can see it in the background over there. That is amazingly beautiful. Today is day five. Still day five. Just came over Donahue Pass today and up to Thousand Island Lakes. That's where we're headed. See you guys in a bit. Peace out. Good afternoon. Coming down into Thousand Island Lakes. Look at that. It was worth the walk to get here.
Thousand Island Lake. Day five, mile 45. We walked 13 miles today. We'll be heading to Garnett Lake. My internet reception, this is the first reception I have. Well, since earlier this morning. But, the scenery here is amazing. The hills are ridiculous. The uphills are crazy climbing. You got some snow in the mountains still. That is Thousand Island Lake down there. Uh, everybody <laughs> left me. Everybody left me. So, I need to catch up. Today is day five. We are camping at Garnett Lake. Out there in the distance is a bridge. This is our hotel. You can see our tents right there. Right there. Right there. It's nice. 14 mile day tomorrow. Red's Meadow. Have dinner there. Wake up, have breakfast. And then take off and head towards BVR. Take a zero there. Good night. Good morning. Start of day number six. Today is Saturday, August the 8th. We are leaving in Garnett Lake and starting our morning out with the climb. This is Kara. And then we have Sarah in front of me and we have the speed goats going up the trail. Beautiful, beautiful out here. Last night, I got my first good night of sleep. <laughs> Only took me five days. But today, we have a 14 mile day, 2600 gain, about four, 4,500 foot descent. We're gonna go get some food, hot food. So, that's it for now. Peace out, have a good day. These are my two beast modes of the day. <laughs> Three H time. Three H time. I, 
I got close to him, but I couldn't catch him, and I definitely couldn't pass him. But <sighs> they pushed me though. I won't put in front of the other. Get you on the next one, kids. <laughs> 3H, peace out. Yeah. Good morning. How are you doing today? Very well. How are you doing? Good. We're doing great, thank you. How's it going? Alright, good morning. No. We are about a mile or two to Red's Meadow. This is Devil's Post Pile via JMT going southbound. And there she is. Sarita, badass. We are coming up on mile 14 of the day. JMT mile 59 plus change. And we are literally very, very close to Red's Meadow. Oh my God. It's a long ass 14 miles. We are at the end of day six, Saturday. Arriving to Red's Meadow. Here's my dinner. I got some spam. I'm roasting it. Roasted spam and some ramen with mushrooms. And silly man. Well, he smells good now. Huh? Good morning. We are starting day number seven. Just left Red Meadows. We have an all day uphill climb, about just over 3,000 feet. Again, we just started, we're under a mile. We're hoping to get 10 in today, but we're leaving VVR. I'm sorry, we are leaving Red's Meadow, not VVR. And there's one, two, and there's the other one, and the peeps in the front. Peace out, see you in a bit. Day number seven, August 9th, 2020. Good morning. Today is the start of day number eight. 
August 10th, 2020. We just left Duck Lake Outlet. We are heading to Purple Lake, which is two miles from Duck Lake. And then from there, we're probably going to go just to the base of Silver Pass. We were going to go over today, but we have a group behind us that we want to them to try to catch up to us. So we're going to take it a little easier and do like a 10 mile day, give or take a mile. And the following day, we'll go into VVR and then we're going to take a zero there and wait for the group to actually catch up to us. They should be, they should be there by then. So we are just past mile 70 ish, 71, something like that. And I am heading to Purple Lake to meet the people that are in front of us. And I have a couple of people behind me. So I'm the middle group solo right now, just walking, enjoying the scenery. But it is beautiful out here. Every day has been hot. Every day has been hot so far. So if you're gonna come out here, make sure you have a hat, get yourself a buff, a neck shade, runner's hat with the neck shade, something. Water it surely is not as abundant as it was last year. Last year we had snow, creeks were flowing, little streams were active. This year we had two stretches with water like five miles, six miles apart. The one we just passed right now, Deer Springs, right of, out of uh, Red's Meadow. After Deer Springs, the next water was 5.6 miles at Duck Lake Outlet and it was all uphill. Out in uh, Yosemite area, I think mile 13.8, just a mile before, I think Sunset, Sunset Creek or Sunset Lake, something like that. Sunset. A mile, a mile before that was the last water. Like six miles after that was the next water. Cathedral Lakes, I believe it was. So long stretches. It's really hot out here. Every day. Start early. Six, seven o'clock start. You could beat the sun, get to camp early. You're walking in the afternoon. OMG. It is toasty. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Okay, it's enough talking for me. We'll see you at Silver Pass. Have a good day. Peace out. Coming down into Purple Lake. I wasn't gonna make a video here, but damn. This water's so beautiful and amazing. Everything out here. Day number eight, two o'clock. We're about nine and a half miles in. Oh shit, here comes the hail, baby. Look at that. We're trying to get to our campsite. We're about a half a mile away from Squaw Lake. And we'll be posting up there. See if we could beat this storm. Here we go, we're cranking it. Got a second wind from somewhere, I have no idea. I was tired five miles ago. 
Gazarra, Carlitos, Mariela. Look at that. Really. Snow from the sky. Day nine. It's only 2.30. I see the lake. That's our destination. Oh God. I'm soaked. Look at that. Woo! Crazy! Yeah! Woo! Ouch, it hurts. Hell in snow. Ow! Good morning. It's a beautiful day today. <sighs> Nothing like an uphill to wake your behind up. We are just leaving Squaw Lake and heading to Silver Pass. Sun is out already. It's about 7.45 in the morning. You got Sarah leading the pack right there. Behind me we have Carlos right there. And behind him we have Gloria right there. So we're going up to Silver Pass. Sun is out already. As you can see, I don't know if you can see the lake right there. Beautiful. Here we go, start of day number nine. Today we will be heading into VVR to get some rest. From there, two days, we will get to MTR and get our resupply buckets, 10 days of food. And then we'll be about the halfway point of the JMT 2020. Head into Whitney, baby. Peace out and have a good day. Good morning. Day number nine. And we made it to the top of Silver Pass. 1.7 miles from where we camped out. This is Gloria. Sarah. We got Craig, our adopted hiking son. We got Carlitos. And we got... Sarah. <laughs> Kyra, Sarah. Okay, so we're going to be heading down the hill that way. I think we have about six miles of downhill towards VVR. Coming down Silver Pass. Look at that. Oh. 
waiting for the ferry at VBR. Sounds of thunder and rain a little bit. Day 10, baby, mile 88. Good morning, Thursday the 13th, day number 11, last night we camped out at mile 88, the VVR JMT junction, we had a, I don't know we had a zero or a Nero yesterday, but Today, we have an 11 mile climb, just under 4,000 feet. And right about now, we are about two miles into our climb. We have, of course, the fast ones, the speed goats ahead of us. I have a couple of people behind me. And I'm somewhat in the middle, I guess. Stuck in the middle with you guys. Alright. But, alright. Nine miles to go. If I just keep on moving my feet, I will get there. For the JMT, the journey of 210.4 miles begins with a single step and we are one day away from the halfway point we will be at MTR tomorrow afternoonish midday get our resupply buckets camp out at Paiute Creek Bridge and we will be back at our full capacity load. I'll be about 40 pounds with 10 days of food. So, see you at the top, baby. Peace out. Have a great day. It just depends upon the area. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm not ready for the, the horse ride yet, but <laughs> maybe another. High Sierra Pack Station when you're ready. All right, High Sierra Pack Station.
Good afternoon. Today is day 11, August the 13th, I believe. We are at mile number 13 or 14, I believe. We did from mile 88, uh, VBR Junction. And now we are at Marie Lakes. Here's Marie Lakes. <sighs> Water. Looks refreshing. A lot of climbing. I think we had about eh, over 4,000 foot elevation gain. I don't know exactly. Initially, we were going to stop at Bear Creek West. And we just decided to come a little further on down the line. Go into MTR tomorrow. After MTR, we will attempt to visit the hot springs. And after the hot springs, we will be camping at Paiute Creek Bridge. And then we have a 10 day resupply. And we have to be out of here. In 10 days because it's all the food we're gonna have all right i'm gonna go find these peeps because i'm towards the back i'm tired i'm slow today peace out good morning day number 12. i think today's thursday is it thursday or friday, friday. oh today's friday day number 12 august 14th Payday, baby. We are just coming over Sheldon Pass. We left Marie Lakes. It is so, so gorgeous there. Highly recommended. Spend the night there. If you're coming along this trail. Sheldon. You have all the riffraff following behind. Head into MTR. Pick up our resupply buckets and add our weight all the way back. We are at one day of food left in our packs. We are, we just, just passed the 100 mile mark. We're like at 102 right now. 105.2 will be the halfway mark. If you haven't been out here, you got to get out here because do I need any words why? So we're going to speed up the thing a little bit. So we're going to turn off this video and we're going to head down to towards MTR. See you guys in a bit. At our resupply buckets. Peace out. Have a great day. Good afternoon. Guess where we are. How you doing? <laughs> 10 miles in so far. We got food. That's a lot of food. Give me cookies. Look at this is 10 Woo! days of junk. <laughs> Stuff you wouldn't eat at home. And resupply, deodorant. Good afternoon. Friday. August the 14th at MTR getting our resupply buckets. This is my lunch right here. So delicious, all that salt. 
Takis, baby. Set myself. Gatorade. What about to drink that thing right now? What else we got here? Look at all my lunches. Got mm, eight ish days of food in there. I gotta try to figure out how to fit the rest. Oh, it feels good to sit down and relax. Halfway. And I'm going to eat all this food the next couple of days. Peace out. Resupply. Day number 12, MTR. August the 14th, Friday, 2020. Here's my little note to myself. Can you see that? It says, stop being a little... You're almost there, JMT 2020. Halfway point. Good morning. Day number 13, southbound, August the 15th, 2020. Heading up to Evolution Lake, just left Paiute Creek Bridge. And scenery is beautiful. Peace out, have a good day. See you in a bit. Day 13, Saturday, August 15th, I think. This is Evolution Waterfall. So I think we're on Waterfall Saturday. But every day out here could be a Wednesday. So here's your Waterfall Wednesday on a Saturday. Have a good day. Peace out. We're going to go climb some mountains right now. Damn, beast mode. Good afternoon, Saturday, August 15th, day number three. Oh my God, we came from Paiute Creek Bridge, mile 111, 
8.5 and we are at Evolution Lake. Oh my God, what a climb. Boy, did we earn this. It's like you're walking all day, all day, 10 miles, and then the last four miles is uphill. How's it going? So what do you think about the climb we just had coming up? Oh, that was fun. It was fun. <laughs> ha, she's funny. <laughs> Yes, sir. Right, peace out. Whew, I'm a happy mofo right now. Four o'clock, we just got to Evolution Lake about maybe half an hour ago. And it just started raining outside. Thunder. I don't know if there's any lightning, but it's definitely thunder. We got our tent set up just in time. There's... 13 days of uh, brutality. Leco tape on my toes. There's my food that didn't fit in my bear canister. Just don't tell anybody. Charging up my Garmin. I got a little bit of water to cook my dinner. You can tell the wind is blowing good outside. Hopefully it passes by soon. My backpack. So this is what I'll be doing for the next little while. Sitting in my tent waiting out the storm. Good morning, August 16th, 2020, day number 14. We are leaving Evolution Lake and heading up towards Muir Pass. We have about six miles to get there. And that's about it for now. It's a little cold today. We'll warm up really, really fast. All right, see you guys in a bit. Peace out. Good morning. Good morning, day 14. Day 14. August 16. Let's do this. Good morning. Day number 14. Today is Sunday. We got to Wanda Lake. Still heading up to Muir Pass. Look at that. On the lake. And up there is Muir Pass. That's where we're headed. We're about two miles out. See you in a bit. It's 
a long way to the top. Whew. If you want to rock and roll. There is Muir Hut. Just the tip. What a climb, baby. Full speed ahead. Feels good. Got the blood pumping. Whew. Got a flow. Flowing, maybe. The heart's pumping. My legs. Whew. <sighs> Made it to the top. Your hut. Down there is, I believe, Wanda Lake. There's a hut. Snow in the mountains, not much. Uh, oh, Three H in the house. Our adopted children is Kara. And we're saying good night to the Muir Hut. Everyone is welcome with us. Peace out. See you guys in a while. Day 14 coming down Muir Pass. So, Bo, baby. Sunday. Pete Meadow. So it's raining outside. It's raining outside. First day having dinner inside my tent. I'm gonna have some chili mac with the baby bell cheese. That's my breakfasts. These are my lunches. <laughs> this is my mess in here inside my tent. My house for the next seven, eight days. You can hear the rain outside. Tent's all muddy. Adventure, baby. Day 15, August 17th, 
heading towards the Golden Staircase. It's nice and flat for the next five miles, six miles. And then we get reality check going up towards, oh, I forgot the name, Palisades Creek. We're going to camp at Palisades Creek tonight. And in the morning, tomorrow, day 16, we will be going over Mather Pass. And then from there, we'll determine our next location. But we have seven days of food in our packs. Packs feel way, way lighter than they did three days ago, two days ago, and one day ago. But, all right, moving forward to be continued. Peace out. Have a good day. Day 15, JMT, heading up the Golden Staircase, just at the beginning, lots and lots of rocks. Hmm, We've got about Three miles to the top. We're just starting out right now. We're gonna get there though. Have about 35, 40 pound backpack. Carrying two liters of water. Look at that view. It's gonna even get better as we get closer to the top. So, I gotta keep on moving, but just wanna share the scenery with you. Have a good day. Peace out. Waterfalls every day. Day number 15, going up the golden staircase. This thing does not disappoint, and it stands up to its name. Last year, about the same time when we came up, it was probably about 90 degrees. And you can see in my last video, when I'm coming up, I know I said I used a bunch of curse words, but same exact time, one year later, we have nice overcast. There's my partner going up the hill, Sarah. She's a beast. So... Before you come up this monster, drink lots of water, eat lots of snacks, because you will need all the energy you can get. So, that's all I got to say about that. Have a good day. Ooh-wee. So what do you think about this? No. You love it? <laughs> I need new friends. All my friends are crazy.
Good morning. Tuesday, August the 18th, day number 16. We just reached the top of Mather Pass, 9 a.m. Last night we stayed at Palisade Creek. Uh, today we will be staying at Majory, Majory Lake. And shout out to my class of 2019 trail family. Sunshine, Green Machine, Carla, Lupe, and all the rest of the clan that was with us last year at the top of this peak. So 2020, day number 16 on the JMT, back to back, baby. We're almost there. We got about 50, maybe 60 miles left, which is about six more days, seven at the most. We are on a good schedule and we will see you at the bottom. Have a great day. The picture of she and her carrying Yeah, you. I know. Mariela. She did the same. <laughs> Tell her. I just finished breaking my food What happened? Again. Mariela cargó a Carlitos. We just came from way the f over there. Mather Pass. Yeah, now we're heading to Marjorie yeah. Lake. Day 16 on the JMT, 12 noon, getting a little hailstorm. We will be hiding under the trees till it slows up because they haven't been lasting too long. There's Goyo. Hi, said, how you doing? How you like the weather? It's cold. <laughs> oh, there we have Gloria and Kira. They look a little foggy, but. It's part of the adventure, baby. Part of the adventure. Let's see, I don't know if you can see the little snow pallets on the ground. But I'm going to put my phone away because it's getting wet. Peace out, JMT, baby, 2020. Good morning. Day number 17, August the 19th. Wednesday, I believe. We are at Pincho Pass, 12,000 foot elevation. Last night we start, we stayed at Marjorie Lake. That's it down there. We are currently at the top of Pincho Pass. We're gonna go another eight miles, nine miles today. And then the following day we'll have a short day we're going to be staying at Ray Lakes because everybody wants to enjoy Ray Lakes. So, in a while, we'll be going down. It looks like we'll be going down there. And our rest of our group is kicking it on the rocks. We're close, we're close. 161 of 210.4 plus the bonus miles. There we are. Today we have about a 4,000 foot descent. And then not, maybe in two days we'll be going over Glen Pass. And a few more days over Forrester Pass. And then up Mount Whitney. And here comes Gloria, Beast Mode, Kira, and Carlos. Peace out. Have a good day.
<laughs> that motherfucker's shaking. Aye. That's how you're getting. <laughs> A17, mile 168.4. Just came across the suspension bridge. There we go. We look for a campsite. There's all the survivors. Yeah, Greg, Kiria, K Day, K Day 74. How long have you known me? You're so Good morning, day number 19, August the 21st, today is Friday. <clears throat> we will be going over Glen Pass today, which is right there. A little dip between the mountain peak and a little peak there. That is Glen Pass. We have a two mile, I believe it's two mile uphill. We slept at the base, which is at Ray Lakes. It's super beautiful here. We actually got to see two eagles, which I have never seen before. One was a bald eagle, and one had white feathers on the head. I don't know what kind of. I don't know if it was a bald eagle, but <clears throat> that was awesome highlight of the trip. So today, day nineteen over Glen Pass, we were hike about. 10 miles, 11 miles to the base of Forrester. And then tomorrow morning, we will be going over Forrester Pass. So, have a great day. It's an amazing view. Glen Pass. So close, yet so far. We'll be there in a bit. A few more switchbacks. Going up this area right here. And then to be shoot across somewhere that way. And there's a couple people at the top already. JMT 2020 day 19. Whew. What a difference <laughs> a year makes. Last year I was on this section and I was having my worst day of the entire trail. I was exhausted, we were chasing miles. That's where my quote came out. All miles, no smiles. Today, it's a different story. So when somebody asks you, what's the weather gonna be like in August? You just don't know. Because last year we had walls on both sides of us of snow climbing up this trail right here and this year we have trail and no snow on the pass none at all so from year to year the trail will change it'll be different you have a low snow year you have a high snow year you have high waters low waters this year the cross the creek crossings water crossings were super low the only one we really got wet at was evolution creek but last year i said it felt like i died and i went to heaven because look at 
we crossed all of that all of that one foot step at a time one foot in front of the other blood sweat and tears you got ray lakes all the way down to the bottom some beautiful eagles down there you guys camp the night spend the day there saw two eagles flying around so this is it like i said getting closer to the pass this is glen pass i don't know if i said matter by accident this is glen pass i am almost there there are people at the top do yourself a favor and get out here Saturday, August the 22nd, 2020. Day number 20. Two days to go. We're about a mile up to Forester Pass. And I think I have a visual on it, but it's like around so many loops. Let me see. You see up there? That little indentation where they both mountains meet, that I believe that's it. It's a small, small pass at the top. Thirteen thousand five hundred feet when we get there, but the views. We came from all the way back there, as far as the eye can see, and further. Day twenty. Only two more days to the top of Whitney. See you in a while. Beautiful day. Peace out. Day 20. Saturday, August 22nd. Coming down Forester Pass. There's the top of Forester right there. And this shit is scary. So we're coming down Forester Pass. We're going to camp down by somewhere like seven miles down. Short day today. We're only doing 10 miles. Then the following day, which is tomorrow, Sunday, we're going to do another 10 miles up to Guitar Lake. And then Monday morning about 1, 2 a.m. We will be heading up to Mount Whitney. So this is Forester Pass. And if you're scared of heights, say a prayer for yourself at the top. But this view is beautiful. For miles and miles and miles and miles you can see. All right, the camera's going off. Ooh. Oh, about 10 miles, 11 miles in, heading to Cab Crown big plateau or something or other right before Crabtree radio station a few miles this last mile is a climb ooh wee went over four for today as I mentioned earlier held all my energy back stayed with the pack in the back and everybody's situated now, so I did a little boost, boost up the hill, explode some energy. One more day tomorrow, get to Guitar Lake, 
following morning, 1 a.m., head up to Whitney. Hopefully the weather's good. Peace out. Have a good day. See you guys soon. Good morning, day number 21, August 23rd, 2020. We will be heading to Whitney tonight from Guitar Lake. That's where we're headed right now. We've got 11 miles to go. And there is Mount Whitney in front of us waiting. There she is right in the center. It's supposed to be cold tomorrow morning. We have a one o'clock start, AM. It's a beautiful day. It was nice and windy and cold yesterday. We stayed at Bighorn Plateau. It's beautiful there. So we're off to Guitar Lake. We'll be four miles below Whitney. And hopefully in the morning we'll be at the top with a good, nice sunrise. So, thank you for following us on our journey. It's to be continued. Have a great day. Peace out. Hey. Coming up on the Crabtree Ranger Station soon. I've been cranking it these last few miles. Whew. Feels good, good, good. It's a beautiful day. Today's my last full day on trail. I should expand some energy because I've been cruising for a while now. So share the view with you guys. You gotta get out of here. Just train hard, train strong, do lots of miles, day day hikes, day hikes, a lot of day hikes. A couple of backpacking trips will be all right. Get used to your gear, zero to in, see what works with for you, see what doesn't, see what you need. You don't need any major backpacking experience. You just need to be able to walk and walk and walk and then walk some more. All right, I'm trying to catch up to the first, first group. Let's see if I make it. I'll catch them eventually though. Peace out, have a good day. Happy trails, baby.
Mount Whitney, 8.3 miles. Almost there, baby. We got four to our campsite. Take the nap till one in the morning. Then we got four to the summit. Mount Whitney, that'll be the end of our JMT. Today, day 21. <sighs> one more day, it's gonna be over. Sad, sad, sad. I think I'm gonna turn around and go the other way. Yeah. Have a great day. Peace out. Here's a posse. The speed goats. Next year they're doing it in 10 days, all three of them. Maybe. <laughs> Peace out. The Whitney zone, baby. Whew, cranking up these hills today. Feel strong. Hopefully I feel the same tomorrow. Right at the side of those rocks right there is Guitar Lake. Looks like a storm's coming in. Look at just that. Look at all those dark, dark, dark clouds. Let's see. Looks like it's raining over there already. Let's see what kind of weather we get tonight. We're planning on leaving at between 1 and 2 a.m. Try to catch a sunrise, but it just depends what the weather decides for us. Got a little sky in there, blue skies. Most of them are dark. So right in a while, we'll be hitting this trail and get into our campsite. Eat up, take a nap, Whew, get up early in the morning. Peace out. Day 21, just above Guitar Lake. Sunday night, we're about to go to bed. Today will be our last night camping on trail. Tomorrow morning, our base camp will head up at 2 a.m. to Summit Whitney and attempt to get a sunrise. So, this will be our final night on trail. And then, back to reality. Whitney in the AM. Good morning, day 22 of the JMT. We are heading down Mount Whitney. Got some ice coming on down on us. It's super windy and it's really, really cold. Lola Lipka, shout out. The girl who gave us the salsa to all of me metals backpackers campground Lola Lipka so we're headed down it's cold I have Carlos and Mari were the last two heading down Lola Lipka <laughs> we're trying to make it to Hopefully we'll be down in about six hours. We're gonna go to the Whitney Portal store. And we're gonna get some hamburgers.
friends, family, co-workers, LA County Department of Public Works, flood control, Imperial Yard. Ah, I'll be back to work soon. I'm sure you guys really miss me a lot. And more than I'll miss you. So, 